Hey everyone, welcome back to Pop Culturally Challenged. If you're new here, my name is David. This is my beautiful wife, Tony. Hello. And tonight we're going to be watching Smokey and the Bandit from 1977. What do you know about it? It's a really old movie. Yeah. Not as old as us, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's old. <laughs> yes. No, this came out the same year uh, the first Star Wars movie came out. Huh? So, yeah. Um, do you know anything about it? Who's in it? Uh Okay. Well, I won't ruin anything for you. Uh, I will tell you it is not a movie I think you're going to cry hysterically at. So Thank you. It is a comedy, so we're giving you a little break. Thank you. Uh, shouldn't be any tears, I don't think. But you've surprised me before, so who knows? So, you ready to get into it? Yes. All right. Well, if you guys enjoy this reaction, please give us a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let us know what you thought about Smoking and the Bandit. Um, if you'd like to see the full-length reaction to this and everything else we've reacted to... Put the link to our Patreon down below. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And on that note, on with the show. So I'm going to tell you right now, babe, this is a movie you have to turn your brain off and just have fun with. Well, my brain hasn't been working all day today, so. Oh, good. So this just reminds me of, um, what was that show with the hey, orange Kirk, card? Dukes of Hazard. Yeah. Yeah, about the same time, too. Dukes of Hazzard came after this. Mm. Open her up. Let's see the manifest. Coors beer. Placing you under arrest for transporting alcoholic beverages across state lines without the proper permit. You know, trucking Coors beer east of Texas is bootlegging? Just a friendly bet. These uh, two old boys, they put me up to it. Big and Lil Enos Burdett make that same bet with every gear jammer they can. Son. From what I've heard, the biggest thing about Mr. the bandit Good. is his ego. <laughs> oh, from um, Six in the City. Yeah. Oh, where might I find the bandit? Who wants to see him? Who's asking? I'm asking. Because I'm the guy paying him $25 a day so all his loyal fans can look at him. $25 <laughs> a day. Oh, this is the 70s, so. Any guy that would paint his truck like this would go to a minister's funeral dressed in feathers. <laughs> Bandit, me and my son are here. <laughs> that laugh sounded very familiar. Yeah, he's known for that. It Why comes is to about three grand other an hour if you make it 28 hours. They're probably the same tie, but he's so much bigger. No. I, don't, I think it's, they're just doing it just to make it look stupid. To mess with your head? Yeah. Why do you want that beer so bad? Because he's thirsty, dummy. <laughs> Well, I got a few friends and me, uh, 400 cases. 400? <laughs> That's a lot of beer. Well, I see there's, uh, 400 cases of beer. I'll need the cash for that. No problem. Go ahead, boy. <laughs> boy. It's a new car. I gotta have a new car to block for the truck, you know? Speedy car. <laughs> Speedier than that. Go ahead. <laughs> Why did they make that noise? I don't know. Are those allowed in the neighborhoods? <laughs> you can't have him. Well, obviously you can. You gotta clean us jail one. You need us. Oh my gosh, another <laughs> There's one. There's another one. Please. No. I know in the past I may have done you wrong. However, in the future, Cletus, I will never ever do you wrong again. We have a big chance. Make a run for some big bucks. Eighty thousand of them. Eighty thousand dollars. <laughs> We're just gonna run over to Texarkana and pick up four hundred cases of Coors and bring it back in twenty-eight hours. Can I ask you a question? Sure, ask me. <laughs> over the shirt? Yeah. <laughs> you know what we're gonna do when we get the money? Hmm? What? We're gonna buy a new rig. By the way, how much money did you say it was? Eighty thousand dollars. $80,000. It's gonna be a lot now. <laughs> That's a nice car. <laughs> well, I don't guess we're gonna be riding in a truck together this time, are we? Oh, no. Now, you know them Smokies, they got them CBs in their car. Why don't we do this? If I say go to Channel 21, forget it. We ain't going to 21, we're going to 19. 21 is 19? Now, if I say go to Channel 2, we're gonna go to Channel 1. 2 is 1. See, that'll confuse everybody. That'll confuse them. <laughs> If we stayed on the uh, odd channels, right? Yeah. Switched every time and started in the basement, that'd work too. Huh? 
Well, yeah, yeah, that'd work too, I guess. That's all that's. <laughs> so they're gonna stay on the odd channels. Yeah. Holy moly. Yeah. That truck's gonna turn over. <laughs> yeah. So they have to drive for 28 uh, hours? Well, they have 28 hours to do it. So to 14 go 1800, 1800 miles, 900 miles each way. And they got to load the beer up, stop for bathroom breaks and all that stuff. But Did he lose it? Oh, no. <gasps> really? He's not looking forward, though. He's going to crash into something. <laughs> <laughs> Breaks the fourth wall there. <laughs> he just ran the red light. You're going to find Bandit doesn't really follow the law. <laughs> he doesn't really care about things like speed limits and stop signs or any of that crap. He has to go 900 miles one way. Big town, ain't it? Yeah, we know what to do around here for excitement. They'll probably sit around and watch the cars rust. What the heck? Hey, want a beer? <laughs> want a beer? Well, huh? Redneck heaven. Will you get serious? Can you drive us thing? It's gonna hit his head. Yeah. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Oh my gosh. Hey, we really ought to pay somebody for that mess we made in there. You just leave a note, tell the folks to send the bill to Big Enos Burdett. Send bill to Big Enos Burdett. B-E-R-B-U-R. B, -E -R -B, -U -R. B hell, I got to go. <laughs> so now they've stolen about 400 cases of beer and caused damage. So there was no issues loading the... Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I don't want to get married. <laughs> Terrific. That makes two of us. She's so young. Are they not going to get out of the way? <laughs> she, hasn't even, she hasn't even been out of the car for more than like 60 seconds and these clowns pull up. <laughs> Where are we going? No, don't tell me. Let me guess. We are a bride in search of a wedding. No. There, there is a wedding in search of a bride. Oh no, it's gonna hit the truck. Are we really going 110? Uh -huh. We're going 110. Why do you wear that cowboy hat? I know, because you think it looks dazzling on you. Sure They're going that fast and there's no cover and the hat isn't flying away. Because it's T-tops. The wind's going over the car. Oh. She has a lot of questions, doesn't she? Is eerily familiar. Hmm. <laughs> oh, is that the the groom? <laughs> like, give me a cigarette. What are they doing? Well, it's his son. Whoops! You look tired, boy. Rest yourself. You punks look tucked out too. The shirt is cool. Yeah. A lady in a wedding gown. Yes, sir. Get in the car. Yes, sir. License plate. Yes, sir. Uh, band one. All right. Now you boys just stay here and watch the car. There might be some vandals around. <laughs> I, I danced around three trash men. Talk to me, my boy. It was really a great show. I had this costume that all lit up. Where would you get that seat cover, son? My costume with the light bulbs on it. Of you know, and I meant. <laughs> I was halfway down the aisle and I said to myself, Jesus Christ, what are you doing? His mother doesn't even have any teeth. What do you do? I don't remember. You think I'm nuts, don't you? No, I don't think you're crazy. I picked up three brides yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on up there? Come back, man. Fred's gonna fall out. Is that your name or your profession? That's my handle. Her hair's so pretty. Hey, is she wearing a... Wedding dress. Not anymore. She was. What's she wearing now? Come back. <laughs> no cool. 
Hoosie's gonna leave me at no church. Decorating up a whole town at a cost of forty dollars. <laughs> forty bucks to decorate the entire town. Even in the seventies, that couldn't have been much. <laughs> Seems like he's more upset than he, the other guy, than the groom. He's on the wrong side of the. Yeah. Uh, what do you do besides drive fast? Have fun. Is this fun? Driving. Oh, driving, talking to me. Well, they're both a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> He's on the wrong side of the road. Hey, would a cop taking a leak on the side of the road interest you? He's taking a 10 100. Well, at least it's better than a 10 200. <laughs> Looks like they did that at the house. Yes. Yeah. You'll see that on a couple, on a lot of the scenes. I kind of feel like one of my brothers had a car like that, but it was more of a dark purple. Hmm. What year was this? 77. Oh! <gasps> <laughs> How does he know which way he's going? Yeah, no GPS. I think I just went 10 100. <laughs> break up, break up to the bandit. Go on back, Brecker. Bandit, I've got a smoky report for you. My handle is Smoky Bear, and I'm tail grabbing <laughs> your ass right now. <laughs> he didn't notice him there? Yeah. See what he's got under the hood. Bye, bye, baby. Is he still chasing him? Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't even care. He's not in the right state anymore. Cletus, you got your ears on, son. Oh, bring it on, you lucky devil. Going around you. Oh, go ahead. Look, be careful. You're going to have to make your own lane, buddy. Because you've definitely got some old oh, crap. Tra I'm about to be killed in this in this moving CB radio show, and I, I don't even have a handle. You want a handle? Okay, I'll think one up for you. Just a minute. No! Oh, <gasps> oh no! Oh no! Oh, the cops right behind the trailer yeah. now. Yeah. Frog. Frog. <laughs> Why? Because you're always hopping around, and you're kind of cute like a frog, and I'd like to jump you. <laughs> Break for that bandit one. Break for that bandit one. But there was a Texas bubblegum machine on your back door. A Texas bubblegum machine? Yeah, I saw him. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my gosh! <laughs> so he's gonna clear the way for the truck. Yeah. Went right through a roadblock. You some bitches couldn't close an umbrella. <laughs> they didn't go through the roadblock. Yeah. <laughs> Again, don't take this too seriously. <laughs> well, they shouldn't be fibbing. <sighs> I still don't understand how he knows where he's going. It's, yeah, he's just got to let it go. <laughs> Son, he's not going anywhere. The Mulberry Bridge has been dismantled for the past six months. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> that's worse. <laughs> well, he cleared it really well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, he, oh! <laughs> I didn't wreck it, Sheriff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no idea how he knows how he's, where he's going, but. I'm like amazed. I get lost in the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm gonna drop the little dolly here off at a choke and puke. Drop her off at a choke and puke. <laughs> you know, you ought to give up smoking. That's bad for your health. But I enjoy it so much. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you can get your ticket over there. You got enough money? Yeah. Hey, thanks. Oh, I'll see you around. Yeah. Frog? <laughs> Frog. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna be all right? I'm always all right. The choke and puke is the place to eat. <laughs> Let me have a Diablo sandwich of Dr. Pepper. Make it fast. I'm in a goddamn hurry. 
You must be in a hell of a hurry, huh, Sheriff? Bet your ass on that boy. Oh, you got a little mess sir. Let me, hmm? let me help you out. <laughs> this is Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Amateurs, my goddamn mania. All the way from Texarkana, Texas. Almost killed funny law officer. Got a broad in the car. I don't think he's got a permission. And that's getting him. What a... Oh, let me pay for it. Let me pay for it. Mm, no, no, no. You're an officer of the law. I'd, I'd, I'd be honored. Yeah, much obliged. Where's the can? I gotta take the squirt. <laughs> Crash the stomach. Hey! Hey! What are you doing in my car? Thank you, nice lady. Sure thing. Sure thing. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Where is it? The truth is, I didn't want to be dumped at any old truck stop. I wanted to stay with you, and I needed an excuse. Why don't you ask? Well, you might have said no, and I have a hard time handling rejections. Oh no. How did she learn how to drive like that? <laughs> it's just being in that car just makes you a driver like that. Can we get one of those cars? Oh, I'd love to get one of those cars. But with a teenager on the auto insurance, <laughs> that ain't happening for like 15 more years. <laughs> Maybe in our golden years. Oh no. <laughs> I think it'd be a good idea if. Uh... We change places, don't you? Yeah. I just kind of slowly. Oh, you got my hair. It's all right. Wait, this wait. is not working. I got my phone. No, come on, it's not. God damn it! I saw him do it in movies. <laughs> I saw him do it in a movie. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Are they gonna lose their top? <laughs> oh my god! Duck, are you gonna be talking out of your ass? <gasps> oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Duck, or you're going to be talking out of your ass. The top came off. <laughs> <laughs> the back part fell out, too. <laughs> He's holding his hat. <laughs> hey, man, watch it. Bandit. This here is the grave robber. The pedal to the metal, good buddy. And we'll hold this county mountain as long as we can. Come on. I'm going, I'm going. I got the metal to the pedal and the thing to the floor. And... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his laugh is like iconic. How does everybody know to slow it down? They yeah, probably all have CVs. Oh. Damn, he had a lot of friends, didn't he? <laughs> I hope I have a lot of friends. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. 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 Move, 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 move. Is that thing going to fall? I don't know. Can you say anything? Yeah, it's a football game. Can we watch, Daddy? Hey, you oh stay and watch God. the game. I'm going back. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yo, Snowman, are you out there, son? What's your 20? Where are you? Uh, I'm at mile marker 85. Come back. Son of a gun. So am I. <laughs> oh, damn game. Are they still in Arkansas? Uh, I don't know. Now they're in Georgia Wait, at one point. Yeah. This is Frog. Hello, Frog. Won't you meet Fred, Frog? Hey, Fred. Frog, meet Fred. Hi. Hey, you run into some chick. We ain't doing no good on the time well, at all. What the hell are we standing here yapping for? Well, it's the chick. Going you got it. Hey, uh, Bandit. Nice ass. Thanks a lot. <laughs> you just think she can hear you? <laughs> Look, I've got to go 10-100. Can I have a dime? Crawl under. Terrific. Crawl under? Crawl under the stall. They used to oh. charge you to get into the stall. I guess. I, I I don't. I didn't know that was very common. Mr. Bandit, would you just happen to be listening out there? This is the Bandit. Oh, I got a dead end. This is Sheriff Buford T. Justice of Texas. How come you're following me? I'd be delighted to tell you, Mr. Bandit. I'm gonna find the tallest tree in the country, and then <laughs> I'm gonna hang you from it. Do the letters F-O mean anything to you? 
<laughs> F.O. Right, have a smooth ride, Mr. Bandit. Thank you, brother. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> we got a lot of company up there. Sarge, he, he comes! Yeah, I got eyes. <laughs> You're ready, Roy? I was born ready. Don't you stand there? Let's go get him! Drives pretty good, don't he, Sarge? Yes, see about that. <laughs> Everybody hates the cops. <gasps> oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. Was that two of the three? Yeah, that was two of the three. <laughs> they take themselves out of the chase. What? Really? Oh, it's not very deep. Are they going to be all wet? Maybe. I don't know. God, that's a lot of smoke. Oh, no. He's <laughs> still holding his hat. Just <sighs> <laughs> get off me, you idiot. <laughs> Why is that necessary? God, he's not very bright. <laughs> You're just now getting that. <laughs> Soon as I get home, the first thing I'm gonna do is punch your mama in the mouth. <laughs> That's so wrong. <sighs> this must have been filmed during spring or something, because everything's so green. We got some time. You wanna stretch your legs, bro? Sure. Her hair is all perfect. It's not all wind blow. <laughs> so pretty. <laughs> God, he's so big. Yeah. That's what he's saying. I'm gonna put you on a diet. You know who uh, Casey Tips is? Baseball player. Close. Wedding gentlemen. No. no. When you tell somebody something. It depends on what part of the United States you're standing in. That's just how dumb you are. That's kind of true, though. Yeah. It's all about what you're exposed to, right? Yeah. If we were lost on a desert island together, do you think we'd get along and talk and things? Sure. Yeah, we'd get along. It'd never be boring, I can tell you that. That's, <laughs> in that's an interesting ring for him. Yeah. Take your hat off. If you want to. They call He's got a lot of hair. He's a wig. Really? Yeah, I think he had, uh, I think he was known for wearing a wig, actually. Really? Yeah. Kiss your goddamn mutt. Honey, I gotta I got go. I'm, yeah, I gotta go back. Yeah, that's my dog. Are they holding him from his neck? Yeah. He just bit me. Where? That's roasty. It's not a bad idea. I don't think Fred bit you, mister. Fred absolutely don't like grease. Oh, he's gonna get hurt. Get ready. It's time to get out. Wow. Yep. <laughs> That's crazy. Man, he got busted up. Normal movie fights, they don't have any marks on their face. It's... Mm hmm did somebody happen? Something happen to his truck? I don't think so. Car right, with him, snowman. It's okay. With me. That's hmm? funny. <laughs> well, there was a lot more 
people in there than the yeah. <laughs> you can hear him coming. <laughs> Lady Bandit. We heard you were coming by. I like her ring. Why don't you come by and pay up in person? But I'm just ahead of you on a mile marker. 86. All right, you talk me into it. Nah, that's that some bitch. You're lucky. This giddy. She doesn't hear it. <laughs> Hey, is this a bandit? This is Mr. B, and I'm gear jamming this road in refinery. You got another smoky on the road. Ah, uh, can we slide right into your convoy there? Come ahead on, bandit. We'll slip you into the rocking chair. Ten four. She's like, what the hell does any of that mean? <laughs> Go into the rocking chair. Good. <laughs> Do people ever do that anymore? Like I don't know. Kids do, I think, on buses. I've seen kids on school buses do it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. They seem so happy to see each other. Yeah. Like a brotherhood or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. Brother and sisterhood, I guess. I wonder if it's still like that. I don't know. I wonder if they still use CBs. That's a good point. Yeah. I mean, would you really have a need for it? But you can talk to random people. I mean... <laughs> they think that's the bandit. <laughs> I have just apprehended the bandit. You just apprehended my captain. <laughs> Take the cuffs off, Junior. But Daddy, we just I... let the cuffs off, you moose twig. <laughs> Back in Georgia. I think that's where they started, isn't it? Miles per hour is buried down in 90. How you doing? Give me your license, manifest, boy. Uh, manifest. 96, you damn right you was. I don't know what truck do 96 miles now. That sounds like Enos from uh, Dukes of Hazard. <laughs> <gasps> That's his job. He keeps the police off of him. That bike will have no problem keeping up with that car, though. Really? Yeah, motorcycle. motorcycle could easily catch that car almost feels like a little scooter no those motorcycles have a ton of power oh 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 <laughs> oh jeez. where is he going just trying to outrun these guys lose them somehow <gasps> oh oh well he lost the motorcycle <laughs> yeah <laughs> See, like, which way did he go? Yeah, there's destruction everywhere. Man, the back wheel's coming off the ground. He's not going to have Whoa. wheels much longer. Yeah. Oh, oh! The truck doesn't stop. <laughs> They're now in Georgia? Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's too funny. He's, a, he's like some kind of cult hero or something. I'm not the shot, Mom. Just tell me how I can help, and I'm with you, body and soul. You still 
Morgan in that choke and puke on uh, West 85. Affirmative, affirmative. I feel like we've seen her somewhere. Yeah, I don't know where, though. All right, gang, we're going to go for a big smoky red 22. Woo-hoo! You right with me? Yeah. What's up? Uh... I don't know. <laughs> smoky red 22, I have no idea. So are all restaurants chokes and... Choke and pukes? Uh-huh. I guess that's the, the handle for it. Now you know. If you ever need to do a 10-100, you stop at a choke and puke. <laughs> Yeah, how he has any tires left is beyond me. <laughs> Are all those cars waiting on him to get in the way? I guess so. Oh, Oof. no. How's he going to run a helicopter? <laughs> oh, no. Ooh. How much time do they have left? I wonder why they don't wonder why the truck isn't getting out of the way. They're probably used to truckers hating them. <laughs> oh no, he lost the muffler. So he's got two, four of them following? Plus the helicopter. Yeah. Oh, he actually four doesn't miles. know where to go. Yeah, no, he asked how, how far. Oh. Did you count on this? I don't like this any more than you do, but we ain't gonna make it, son. Whoa, Negator, Negator, what are you crazy, something? It's me they're after. They don't even know Clint Snow exists. They do now. <laughs> We're just gonna introduce them to the boy. So move over a little bit, good buddy, because the snowman is coming through. Hot oh, damn, we're gonna make it. Oh no. <laughs> oh oh no. Whoa! That was the state line? Yeah, they're back to the where they needed to get. They made it. <laughs> Dang, that is coming fast. Daddy, you're about to have your evening ruined for you. Move! Move! <laughs> what time is it? One minute after. God damn, we're ten minutes early. We need a way out of here, we need the money. Well, here's my Cadillac. That'll leave me with an even dozen. Yeah, how about the money? How about double or nothing? You run up to Boston and bring back some uh, clam chowder for me and my daddy? You're on. In 18 hours? You're still on. <laughs> you don't know what they can do for in a clam Cata chowder? Yeah. What are they going to do it in a Cadillac Eldorado? <laughs> if they win, it'd be $160,000. Why is everybody just standing around? I don't know. It's just, well, it's just fair or whatever. <laughs> oh, <crap>. oh, no. <laughs> Nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Who that? This is Bandit Darbel talking. You must be part coon dog. Because I've been chased by the best of them. And son, you make them look like they're all running in slow motion. Well, thank you, Mr. Bandit. May I see you the goddamnest pursuee I ever pursued? Where are you, you some bitch? I'm right down the bottom of the hill, Sheriff. I'm six foot eight in a cowboy outfit. Wait a minute. Scratch that, hold it. I can't lie to you, Sheriff. Look over your left shoulder. <laughs> We're on our way to Boston to get some clam chowder. No hard feelings, Jason! Oh my god! The door! Oh, the wheel! Who's gonna hold your hat? <laughs> Okay, so that was Smokey and the Bandit. What did you think? That was fun. Yeah. Uh, I, I wasn't sure you would like that one. It's one that I, I saw it when I was a kid, and I, I probably haven't seen it in 20 years. I mean, I think the last time I saw it was probably on TV, and a lot of the stuff, even the jokes that they would say, they would dub in something else that was safe for TV. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is kind of like seeing it for the first time. Like, wow. Okay. Yeah, it was it was fun. It was I I needed some laughs, so that was good. Yeah, yeah. It was it's one of those movies that if you don't take it seriously at all and just 
you know, you're just along for the ride. It's a fun movie. I mean, it's totally ridiculous. And, you know, he, he never would have gotten away with all that stuff in real life. And, you know, <laughs> he was a danger to everybody on the road. But, yeah. I mean, I, I know I couldn't stop smiling through most of it. It was just it was just fun. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so. I feel like my brother um, used to laugh like that. That's kind of where I feel like that's where I heard it. <laughs> well, he probably would have been the right age to have seen this in theaters and, you know, was just trying to imitate that laugh. Yeah. That's like, that's trademark Burt Reynolds there. Yeah, so that's kind of cool. Yeah. So I know. So the Trans Am, from my understanding of it was Pontiac provided the car. It was a new, it was new for that model year. And the sales were not very good on that car until this movie came out and mm -hmm. then it just exploded and i know growing up at the, at the time we did early 80s you know we were kids for me the trans am that i really wanted was the knight rider trans am the model mm -hmm. after this and i never was i never really thought much of this one i always thought yeah that's the old one but i i will say as I've gotten older, looking back, that was a beautiful car. Mm -hmm. and that car was just awesome. I mean, if they were to sell that today, I think it would do well. It, what year was it again? 77. 77. So we would have been really young when this came out. I mean, The Trans Am was 77? Yeah, the Trans Am was a 77. Or maybe it was a 78, but came out in the 77 model year. You know, some cars come out early, but... So that doesn't make sense in my head because I... I think I was like maybe five or six when I remember. Was there an older model that was similar to that? Yeah, but I can't. I can't remember what the Trans Am before this one looked like. Oh. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, I only know this one from this movie, and I know the Knight Rider one came immediately after it. Sure. And like I think it was '82. So I've never been a huge muscle car guy, so. I don't, I don't know. know. I just feel like I remember it when I was maybe I, five, I, six or something like that. So that would mean that it would be a brand new car. And I don't think my mom would have allowed my brothers no. to have a car I like that. I think you mentioned once, and I think I saw a picture that one of your brothers had a Camaro. Oh, it wasn't a which was kind of Yeah, which was kind of like the sister car to this. Like oh. Pontiac had the... Firebird, Trans Am, and oh. Chevy, the same company, had a different variant that they changed up a little bit. Okay, well, it shows you how much I know about cars. Yeah, it might have been. I, th I think I saw the picture, a picture years ago of your brother's, and he had a Camaro. It was a, oh. it was a late 60s uh, Camaro. That makes so, more sense. Yeah. Yeah, because he probably didn't have this one. I mean... Unless it was much later, you know, a couple of years later, if if it wasn't a brand new car from, I don't know. But, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, it it was, uh, you know, totally ridiculous. Just, it was fun though. Yeah, just a lot of fun. You know, <laughs> I know there's sequels. I have not seen the sequels since I was a young kid. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I do remember the sequels weren't as good as this one. Um, I I I want to say there's three more. Hmm. maybe four i don't know does he uh, laugh like that in all of them i don't remember oh. i mean that was trademark you know that 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 laugh was that was burt reynolds i mean you know yeah i remember that laugh more from uh uh what was it um cannonball run so in the early, late 70s, early 80s, like especially the early 80s, they had the Cannonball Run movies, which were basically race movies across the country. Mm -hmm. And Burt Reynolds was in that as well. Uh, you know, that was kind of like what I that was the only way I knew Burt Reynolds was, mm -hmm. you know, Smoking the Bandit or Cannonball Run. He was just a race car, you know, race guy. Yeah. So, yeah, I like I, I know the second one he's back in it. I think the third one. I don't think he's in it. I think that was something weird, like Snowman is the bandit. Like the guy who played Snowman gets his own Trans Am. The only reason I remember that one was because the Trans Am was the newer model, the Knight Rider one. So I mm. remember that. But uh, I don't remember what they were doing, where they were going. Uh, I just remember it was, yeah, uh, that wasn't very mm. good. 
Um, but it was yeah. a fun movie. I really yeah. enjoyed it. It was a nice change of pace. So yeah, no, no crying, no tears. No, that was great. So would you be interested in seeing some of the other Burt Reynolds yeah, I think kind so. of stuff? Yeah. Well, if you guys want to see, uh, you know, any of the other Burt Reynolds kind of movies like this, Smoking the Bandit Two, um, Cannonball Run. I mean, I don't know if there's others. Those are the only two that really come to mind for me. Let us know in the comments. You know, should we uh, should we watch more of them, or if not, you know, is there any other good Burt Reynolds movies or Sally Field? I mean, Sally, Sally Field was so pretty, and yeah. she's got such pretty hair. How yeah. old do you think she was here? I think she was probably in her in her late twenties. I really? mean, probably, I think she said their character. She said she was twenty eight. I think that was probably fairly realistic. Mm. I mean, I don't think she was over thirty. I mean, I think she was younger, yeah, I but I really don't know. She was really know. pretty. Yeah, I, I don't know. Wasn't there another movie that she came out in? I kind of feel like she was wearing some old-fashioned hats, and she was older. She was, no, she was the mother, Forrest Gump's mother. Oh, that, yeah. that's right. Yeah, that's yeah. where we've seen her before. Yeah. Um, she was really pretty in that, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm. That's uh, funny. I always thought she was very cute. Yeah, so cute. No, hmm. cute. <laughs> hmm. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Forty-five years ago. Well, yeah. Um. All right. Well, if you guys enjoyed this reaction, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, comment down below. Let us know what you thought of Smoking the Bandit. Uh, if we should continue the series, what other movies we should check out. Um. If you'd like to see the full-length reaction to this and everything else that we've reacted to, we will put the link to our Patreon down below. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, and we will see you next time. Bye.